1969, the Rolling Stones' lead guitarist, Brian Jones, was found dead in a swimming pool. It is assumed that he was under the influence of drugs when he drowned, but he was alone at the time, so nobody really knows exactly how it happened. But this is what we think went on. Gee, I hope I don't fall in the pool and drown because I'm so wasted. A few days after Brian's death, the remaining members of the band hired a new guitarist and played a free concert in London's Hyde Park, which they dedicated to Brian. The English chapter at the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club offered to do security for the show. The Stones accepted, and the concert went as planned, with almost no violent disruptions. The band remembered the gang's well-mannered security job as they planned another free concert in December later that year. This concert was intended to be the Woodstock of the West Coast, with the Grateful Dead and Jefferson Airplane to open up before the Stones. It was decided that the show should be held at Altamont Speedway, near San Francisco. Once the show was planned, it seemed natural to invite the American Hells Angels to perform the same type of security as they did back in England. The Rolling Stones' road manager, Sam Cutler, called the Angels and offered the gang $500 worth of beer in return for security. At dawn, on December 6th, Altamont Speedway began filling up with fans. Around noon, Drunken Hell's Angel showed up. And Jefferson Airplane began to play. Shortly after Jefferson Airplane started playing, the Hell's Angels began acting violently. They used pull sticks and full beer cans to subdue the rowdy crowd. One of the airborne beer cans hit a woman in the head and gave her a concussion. As Jefferson Airplane was playing, one of the Hells Angels punched the lead singer in the face. putting a swift end to their performance. The Grateful Dead arrived around the time this was happening. But, they decided that it was too dangerous, so they left without playing. Small fights broke out between fans and Hells Angels as the Rolling Stones took the stage, and continued to occur as the evening dragged on. But the level of chaos reached the climax while the band was playing the song Under My Thumb, and a fan got too close to the stage and was stabbed to death by a group of the Hells Angels. The fan that got knifed was Meredith Hunter, and he was 18 years old. Witnesses say that even though he was carrying a weapon, he had no ill intentions. However, the Angels still took the opportunity to kill him. The band was unaware of what was happening until it was too late. 
They called for an ambulance, but they kept on playing in order to avoid more violence. Three other people also died at the concert that night. Two people were run over as they slept in their sleeping bags, and another person drowned. But nothing was more exciting as the brutal slaughtering of an innocent Rolling Stone fan by a sadistic motorcycle gang. The moral of the story is that the Rolling Stones make bad decisions, so don't buy their merchandise until they end their partnership with Best Buy.